So let's do some basic color grading in Adobe Photoshop and turn this into this. Let's do it. What's up everybody, this is Sabar from Doublest Production and welcome back to another excited episode. On the previous Monday, I didn't upload any video because I was busy in my exam, there were pressure on my head, my mind was not active. I shooted a video for VFX but I didn't upload it, I didn't edit it, it was a weak video. I didn't want to share it with you people, I want to come up with some quality. Today, I'm here for color grading. I told you that I will come up with some basic color grading in Adobe Photoshop that how you can color grade the photos, how to change some color tunes and make it dramatic and yeah boost up your Instagram. Without any further ado, let's move into it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. Without wasting any time, let's get started the tutorial. First, we need to open the image. So go to File, Open and open the image. Now there we have an image and I want to edit this photo to something like this. How to do that? The first step is I have to apply the lookup table. Now what is lookup table? Lookup tables are ready-made color correction, color grading that you can apply on your photos and videos. It's the same like the filter in your mobile phone camera. So how to apply the color lookup adjustment? First of all, go to adjustment buttons here and apply color lookup. Click on load 3D lot and you will see some of the presets here. You can also apply uh, the preset from outside the Photoshop if you have. And just click on the load 3D lot and you will get into the explorer. But I need to apply two strip look on this photo. Here it changed the whole look of the photo you see here. But this isn't what I wanted. I want to make some more adjustment on the photo. For that I need to apply another adjustment layer which is called select your color. To apply select your color adjustment layer just go to adjustment layer and click on select your color. It's a powerful tool in which we can deal with different colors. So for the sake of the image that I'm editing Let's just go to the neutral part here. Now why I selected neutral color? Because there are three level of luminosity in the image. One is called highlight, the midtones, and the shadows. The brightest part of the image is called highlights, while the darkest part of the image is called shadows. And the neutrals or midtones are in between the highlights and the shadows, and its range is close to 50% of the brightness. If you're looking at this image, these are highlights, you see the brightest part, these are highlights, the shadows, these are shadows and if you look at the part which are not much brighter nor much darker, these are midtones. So I need a cyan color on midtones. Just increase the cyan color a little bit and you see the changes in the photo. Now I want a teal color except blue, so I need to decrease down the magenta a little bit. Now this looks good. Let's go into the black's color. Now dealing with the black color in the photo, it will change the color of the black in the photo. For the black, increase the magenta a little bit just to give some kind of good look to the photo. It looks awesome. Let's jump into the red color. Now we have to deal around with the red color. I want to increase the magenta by 3%. Decrease the cyan to about something minus 17. And also decrease the yellow color to something about minus 12 are just minus 8. Now it looks very cool but we have to increase some cyan color on the image as well so just go to the cyan color increase the cyan to something about 40 and again decrease the magenta to give some teal look. Very cool now just look at before and after of the photo. This is before and this is after. But this isn't the end yet. Let's merge all the layers. Control Alt Shift E and there we have a new layer in which all the layers are merged. Rename it to basic correction. And let's play around with this photo again. So just go to filter, camera raw filter. And I need to increase the exposure and do some stuff around with the photo to make it more brighter and make it more clear. So here I need to do some basic correction. I need to increase the exposure a little bit to about something 0.5. Increase the contrast a little bit to something about 17 or 18 or 20. Yeah, that's amazing. Also increase the highlights. So I need some, you know, uh, the rim light more effective on the image. So I need to increase the highlight as well. As I want the dramatism in my photo, so I need to decrease down the shadow. So it gives us more dramatism in the photo. 
it's amazing also decrease down the blakes as well so minus 10 or something like that so minus 9 8 yeah it's looking cool now increase the clarity to about something like 20 or 25 to give that kind of look you know the dramatic look and HDR look to the photo and also increase the vibrance a little bit I want to you know make the dull colors more pop out so something about Okay, now let's move into heat saturation and luminance. HSL, the most powerful tool that, you know, that make the image more pop out and make the image more dramatic. And you can play around with the different colors. So, let's play around with the heat of the colors. Make the reds to something like pinkish, about minus 12. Because I need the bump aqua color, so I need to increase the aqua color to something about plus 20. And also decrease down the blue to something aqua, so it changes the color and give me some more teal color also increase the magenta to something pinkish and that's great now let's move into saturation here the teal color is desaturate and i want to make it more saturated and make it more pop out to the screen so i need to increase the aqua color to about something plus 30 yeah increase the blue as well and also decrease down the magenta picture was more reddish than teal that's why i just decrease down the magenta saturation to balance the colors now let's move into luminance here I have to only increase the red color now everything looks great but I have to apply a vignette effect on the photo so to you know to focus on the uh, on one point and one spot in the photo let's go into FX here and apply the vignette I need a black vignette on the photo so just make it down to something about minus 20 not much Okay, that looks great and hit OK. Now there I have a corrected photo. You can compare it. This was the first one. And this is the next step that I've done with the photo. And this is the third step. Okay, everything is done. But I have to apply some more exposure and some more brightness to the photo. For that reason, I'm just going to apply a level adjustment layer. And here we have to play around with the level to give, you know, to get some more great effects from the photo. I have to increase this a little bit and just play around with it. Increase the highlights, back down the midtones, and that's it. You see it here. To make it more real, I need to apply uh, some bokeh effect, uh, some lens flare effect to the photo so it will look real. For that, I'm going to create a new layer here. Take the brush tool. Hold Alt and take the teal color from the photo, the brightest teal color. So I need to take this color here and just right click, decrease down the hardness, increase uh, the brush using the brackets. So just click here and you see I got this thing. I'm going to change the blending mode to screen and bring down the opacity 29. Okay, that's look pretty and cool. Control T, make it larger. And there we go. We got a cool look of the photo. Now I want to play around with the with the bokeh as well. All these lights. What I need to do, just go to the brush tool again. Take the color of the bokeh. There we have. Decrease down the opacity of the brush to about something like 25. And just click on the bokeh. Now you feel it, right? So there we go, we got the last image, something like this. Now compare it, this was the first photo, after the second step, the third step, the fourth step, and there we have the last image. So this was the basic editing concept, you can play around in the video as well, the same concept, just apply the selective color effect over there, the HSL over there in the video, and play around with the colors and you will get something like this. Now lookup tables, just search Google for lookup tables, L-U-T, LUT, and you will get some interesting result about that. You can purchase LUTs, you can, you know, there are a bunch of free LUTs as well, on, available uh, in the internet. 
and you can download and you can apply on your photos on your videos and anything you want to there was some basic color grading in adobe photoshop i hope you learned a lot of things in it and i hope you're able now to color grade your photos in adobe photoshop if you're using adobe after effect if you're using adobe premiere pro davinci resolve adobe lightroom or any other software all the tools are the same just think about it and do it so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video